Dr. James Wilson was the first to see the disease. It was a rare cancer, and he didn't know how to stop it. He told his friend, Dr. Gregory House, about it. House didn't believe him. Cuddy, the hospital administrator, was notified. She called a meeting with the board. We have to find a way to stop this disease, she said. Allison Cameron, a young doctor, was assigned to the case. She did her best, but the disease was spreading. Chase, another doctor, was also working on the case. He was older and more experienced, but he was also stumped. Foreman, the head of the hospital, was getting pressure from the board. He was worried about the publicity. Wilson was getting desperate. He was losing patience, and he didn't know what to do. One day, House came to his office. I think I know how to stop the disease, he said. How? Wilson asked. We need to find the source, House said. Once we find the source, we can stop it. Wilson was skeptical, but he was out of options. All right, he said. Let's find the source. The two doctors started to investigate. They tracked down every patient who had the disease. They interviewed their families and friends. They looked for anything that could be the source. Finally, they found it. The source was a new product that was being sold in stores. It was causing the disease. They went to the store and found the product. They stopped it from being sold, and the disease started to disappear. Wilson and House had saved the day. The two doctors saved the day by finding the source of the disease and stopping the product from being sold. The next day, the news of the doctor's discovery was all over the news. People were relieved that the disease was stopped and that there was no need to worry anymore. However, some people were still skeptical of the doctors, wondering if they could really be trusted. The next day, people were relieved that the disease was stopped. However, some people were still skeptical of the doctors. The skeptical people did some research and found out that the doctors were right, and that the disease was indeed stopped. They were relieved and thankful that the doctors had saved them. The doctors were grateful that they were able to help, and that their discovery was able to save so many people. The board decided to give Foreman a raise. The two doctors continued to work together and made many more discoveries. Their work saved many lives and changed the course of history. The two doctors continued to work together and made many more discoveries. Their work saved many lives and changed the course of history. They were able to find a cure for the disease and helped to develop a vaccine that prevented it from spreading. They also helped to develop a treatment that could be used to help people who had already been infected. Thanks to the work of these two doctors, the disease was eventually eradicated. The two doctors continued to work together and made many more discoveries. Their work saved many lives and changed the course of history. They were able to find a cure for the disease and helped to develop a vaccine that prevented it from spreading. They also helped to develop a treatment that could be used to help people who had already been infected. Thanks to the work of these two doctors, the disease was eventually eradicated.